let me show you how to go through the initial configuration on Samsung Galaxy A36 5G. So let's get right into it. Let's press the button that we have in the middle of the screen and let's begin the setup. So first we want to select the language that we want to use on our phone. I'm going to select English United States and let's press next. Over here we can enable the connection to the mobile network if you have your SIM card inserted into the phone. So you can turn it on or off over here. In my case I'm not going to actually do this but feel free to turn it on if you want to use the mobile data. And let's go next. Now over here we need to agree to end user, li user license agreement at least, the rest is optional. And let's go next. Then we can easily set up this phone with another device. So if you have your old phone then you can choose the appropriate option depending what device you have or you can just press setup manually in order to perform the clean setup and I'm gonna do this the manual setup I don't have my old phone right now so I'm not gonna set it up with my old phone now we can choose a Wi-Fi network in order to connect with the internet so if you have access to the Wi-Fi then of course you can select it from the list you can enter into password you can also use the QR code by using this button over here so you can open the rear camera and you can take the um, take the photo not the photo but you can aim at the QR code put it within the frame and you should be able to connect with your Wi-Fi like this again on the other hand if you choose to select the Wi-Fi you need to provide the password and then press connect once you connect we can go next we don't really have to press the button apparently so now we need to wait for the next menu to show up now you have the option to copy apps and data, so you can do that. If you choose to go next, you can also choose can't use other device, so you can use your Google account and use a backup from your Google Drive as long as you have one. But if you don't want to do this, then you can simply press don't copy instead and you will proceed to the next screen. Now you can use your Google account and sign into it, so you can provide your email or phone number to your account. And after that, you, you can go next in order to press to enter, sorry, the password. If you forgot your email, then of course you can choose this option here. If you don't have a Google account, you can press create account. And if you forgot your password, if you proceed to the next screen, you will have also the option to uh, to choose the option to that you forget the password, and then you will have the password recovery. And you can also skip this process as well. So if you choose to skip, um, of course, you will not have access to, for example, the Play Store. You won't be able to create backup uh, of the data on your Google account, obviously, since you are not signed in. But you can sk still skip this option and uh, you can sign in later in the settings if you want to. The same goes with the fingerprints or face data. Everything can be set up in the settings. If you want to create a lock screen, if you want to set up the screen lock password, you have the option to do so over here, but you don't have to do this right now if you don't want to. So feel free to choose any of these options in order to create the password for your phone. Otherwise, we can simply skip. There we go. Now we have Google services, which can be enabled and disabled in this place. Uh, you can enable the location, for example, you can send diagnostic data and if you scroll all the way down, you should be able to press accept. And then we can choose our default browser and search engine. So let's press next. If you don't know which browser you want to choose, the most popular option on Samsung smartphones is either the Samsung Internet browser or the uh, Google Chrome browser. Whichever you, cho you will choose, it doesn't really matter that much, you will probably uh, be happy with any of these. So if you don't know which one to choose, choose any of these two that you prefer, or if you don't know any at all, then probably Samsung Internet will be the best choice. In this case, I'm gonna actually choose Chrome browser. And then if you scroll all the way down, we have set as default, and then we need to select a search engine, and over here, the most popular option is of course Google. So I'm gonna select Google and press set as default. And now let's wait for the next menu to show. Now you will see the Samsung account setup screen and if you want to sign into your Samsung account then of course you can choose uh, email or phone number and provide your credentials or you can sign in with the QR code. If you don't have the Samsung account or if you don't want to sign in then you can choose this text forgot password or don't have an account and then you can either create an account choose forgot ID to, you know, in order to get your email or phone number or forgot password in order to recover the password. And if you don't want to sign into Samsung account yet, then you can press set up later in settings. And then we can skip this if you decided to actually skip the login. Now over here we need to agree to terms and conditions and the rest is optional. 
but we need to scroll down and press agree. And then we have some options such as auto blocker, customization service, and personal data intelligence. I'm going to agree to all of these. Then we can also choose the display mode, whether you prefer to have light mode or dark mode enabled. I'm going to stick with light. And let's go next. And after that, you should see recommended apps, which uh, I'm not sure why they are being suggested. Um, and it seems that we cannot really do anything about it. So um, for some reason, they will be downloaded when we are connected to Wi-Fi. I don't know why. It's just, it is how it is. And there we go. We are now all set up. So let's press home in order to jump to the home screen. Let's see. Now, if you see this screen, we can press continue in order to see what we get. And we have some another recommended apps, but of course we can uncheck everything. So we don't really want the bloatware. And thankfully these can be unchecked. And then we can press finish. There we go. All done. So let's press finish. And we are good to go. Now you can start setting up your phone. You can customize it as you wish. You can go through settings in order to enable, disable stuff and so on. And of course we need to wait for some apps to be downloaded. If you see those grayed out icons, it means that the app is being downloaded and you need to simply wait for this. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.